non-cancerous growths that develop within the smooth muscle or walls of the uterus. It is a very common condition that up to one and maybe three to five women might experience in the course of their lives. Some fibroids are completely asymptomatic, while others can cause terrible troubles in a woman's life. They can lead to heavy periods, terrible pain during a lady's menstrual period, they can lead to bloating, back pain, swollen legs, and any number of such symptoms. The treatment related to fibroids are very varied. The commonly performed treatment called myomectomy involves the surgical removal of the fibroids via a caesarean type cut in the tummy. Alternatively, a woman's entire uterus is removed through a procedure called hysterectomy. And then there's this procedure called uterine artery embolization. This is a non-invasive, or shall I say minimally invasive, non-surgical form of treatment for fibroids. Our aim with uterine artery embolization is to destroy the blood supply, feeding the fibroids, thereby starving them of any oxygen and blood that allow them to grow. As a result, the fibroids die and they shrink. But more importantly, the symptoms that the patient has, the individual has, start to disappear. Now, fibroid embolization works particularly well in women who suffer from very heavy periods related to these fibroids. The minute the fibroid is starved of its blood supply, it stops interfering with the lining of the womb, and as a result, the ladies start bleeding less and less. Embolization does not stop a period, but it greatly reduces that heavy flow that patients often complain about. Many patients have very large fibroids, and these result in appearing to be several months pregnant. Under such circumstances, after embolization, we always advise our patients to sit tight for a couple of months while those fibroids shrink. And this is really important because we do not cut the fibroids out, we rely on your body to absorb the fibroids. So someone who looks three or four months pregnant, after a couple of months, usually four or five months, their tummies are flat again. And a little bit of patience and the reward is great.